Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So for my last project for my Seven Days of Halloween series for 2019, I wanted to create something that was a bit creepy. So I, I thought to myself, everything that I've done so far has been kind of cutesy creepy <laughs> or cutesy Halloween-y. Um, so I wanted to do something a bit more creepy for the last day, considering it is actually going out on Halloween itself. And I thought to myself, well, what is the most creepiest thing that's not too gory or too frightening um, that I could possibly do? And I immediately thought of our friend Pennywise the Clown. So <laughs> what I'm going to do, this started out as an experiment. Um, so I'll turn over to my overhead camera and tell you or show you exactly what happened. Okay, so I found this illustration um, a clip art illustration of Pennywise, one of those, um, th there are millions of free clip art websites all over the internet and I found this one um, and I thought it was particularly basic without being too basic if you know what I mean. There was a bit of detail but not too much and I thought that would be absolutely perfect to do what I wanted to do. So like I said this did start, I've already tried to do this one, I already started to do this project once and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But I got to a certain stage and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to stop because um, I need to do a catch-up video to show people what I've done up to this point. So this is what I'm doing now. So I've printed off the picture of Pennywise the Clown and I've gone and grabbed um, my charcoal pencils because my drawing skills aren't exactly wonderful. So I've just gone and grabbed one of my charcoal pencils I'm going to turn it over and you can pretty much see through, you can still see the pattern, there you go, if I just hold it up to the light a little bit, you can still see the printing on the other side. So I know pretty much where to go and I'm just going to run over with my charcoal pencil, just lightly, and I'm going to go over the entire the back of the printout where I can see the character. Now, originally when I did this the first time, because it was just an experiment to see whether or not it would work, I did it in black and white, but I've just printed this off in colour just so you can see it a bit better. That's my black and white version, and that's what I did on that one. Like I said, I've already tried, I've already started this project, and I didn't think it was actually going to work, but it has worked. So because of that, I decided I was going to stop and just do a backtrack and show you how I got to that particular stage. Okay. So I've gone over pretty much all, all the back of where Pennywise is. Okay. Right. So then I grabbed my Dina Wakely multi-surface journal. Now, I've already done this on another page which is why this is here. So let me just see if I can, yeah that'll do. Doesn't matter if I go over this one again. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've positioned where I think I want the face to be on the page and I've just dropped it down lightly and I've grabbed a, a ballpoint pen and I've just drawn over the edges, I've gone all the way around and traced the basic image all the way around of my character. Now because my drawing skills aren't exactly wonderful and this is a particular character, if I'd have tried to draw this I know I would have got the shape of the jawline and the cheeks and, and all that kind of wrong, especially the mouth, I would have got wrong and it would have looked rubbish, which is why I decided I was going to, I won't say cheat because it's not cheating, it's a method of transference. And then I'm just going to go quickly over where the eyes are. And I'm not going to bother with those like nose ridges and I'm just going to lightly go over the nose 
and then I'm going to do the shape of the mouth Don't forget we can adjust this later and then I'm going to pop the teeth in and then I'll just do the eyes I know the basic okay and I'll just lift that off and as you can see we've got I'll just put the hair in quickly and it, like I said before it doesn't have to be perfect because we can finesse it once it's actually down but if you're not particularly good at drawing and you do have uh, charcoal pencils or even just a, a heavy um, pencil you can transfer pretty much anything onto a page by doing that okay I think I've pretty much got Pennywise's face and it's only only very very lightly it's only very light and then what I've done is I've sketched in just around about here the shape of his balloon and if you don't know who Pennywise the clown is he has a red balloon in part of the story. It's a character from a Stephen King book. So I've got that position in and then all I've done is I've just gone around and just started to finesse the lines with the pencil. And then when I've got those I've grabbed a piece of sponge and I've just rubbed over the top to remove any excess of that charcoal. So when you're done and you've got your line in, if you just rub it with a pencil, the charcoal comes off. But not rub too hard because you will take the top layer of the paper off. And I'll show you when I turn over to my other one exactly what I mean. So you just go around your lines, just finessing them a little bit with your pencil. Drawing the ears, Put a little bit of detail on those, on the mouth, and bring it down. And then I can draw in his rather prominent two front teeth. I'm not particularly bothered about the red stripe on his face just yet. I just want to get the basic details in with the pencil over the top of the charcoal and then kind of get those creepy eyes in. nose and then what I'll do there we go and then you can just draw in that, that hair however you really want to okay so that's pretty much like the basic character so that's pretty much what I did to start off with so I'll now turn back to the page where I'm at. There we go. So as you can see, I did exactly the same thing. There's the balloon, there's the character. I've actually finished drawing in those red lines that go up his face there. And I've also started to add in just from or just from reference material, the roof that goes around his neck because he is a clown, remember? And that is pretty much where I've got to at this stage. Now I'm trying to decide, um, before I overwork this with the pencil too much, I've got the balloon 
in just that. I'm hoping that the camera's picking this up. Let me see if I can just zoom out a little bit. Why do I do? There we go. Um, so I've got the balloon as the main kind of image in that top left hand corner and then Pennywise is down here in the bottom kind of like looking from behind that balloon. So but I can't decide whether I want to colour this with pencils or with paint or even, um, I don't want to do it with Copic markers because I don't have the depth of colour, I don't have the, the amount of colours that I would need or whether to actually do this and paint it in acrylics. So I think what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm just going to go and put the kettle on, I'm going to sit and have a think and then I'm just going to get started but because it's going to take me a while to do whatever it is I'm going to do, um, if I do do watercolours I'm going to do it probably um, with distress markers, put the colour down and then you know with an aqua brush paint it that way but what I'll do is I'll just put it when I start, I'll put it onto fast forward with some music um, so that you're not having to sit through too long a process of me trying to get some colour down onto the page. But I may do a combination of two. So I may do the background here in a dark colour, black paint, and then I may just go over the top with something else. And the balloon I may do in a, well, whatever, whatever. You'll see anyway. So I'm going to have a bit of a think and then I'm just going to dive in and have a go. Okay, so I've done a quick experiment um, on one of the other pages with watercolour using distress markers for the hair and then acrylic paint for the balloon. I think I'm going to go with the acrylic paint. Okay, <clears throat> here goes nothing.
Okay, I'm going to have to stop it there. Um, the battery on the camera is about to die. <laughs> I said the battery was about to die. It's exactly what happened. It cut me off just at the point where I was saying it. So, I stopped exactly what I was doing. Um, and I just had a quick tidy up. So, I'm just going to put some more black paint down and just finish off this section here. And then I'm going to stop it. Um, and then get it dried, I'm just going for a, a baby wipe because I've got paint on my fingers now. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to add a few extra details onto it to turn it into a Halloween art journal page. So let's resume <laughs> with the fast forward. Okay, so the main structure of the painting is done. <clears throat> While I was waiting, sorry, let's turn it off a second. While I was waiting for the camera to recharge, if you like, the battery on the camera to recharge, um, I did go in and do a little bit of finessing with um, a pen, a little bit of detailing just around the ears um, and just around the edges of Pennywise's face, but that was pretty much it. 
So let's get this dried off and then we can carry on and finish off the page. Okay, so everything's dry. Um, what I'm going to do is just grab a distress marker, a black soot distress marker, and then using the fine tip point, we can then just go in and just finesse those edges, just tidy up a little bit. If we think there's a little, a few bits that are not quite right, and then we can go in with a bit more detail, a little bit more control. And just tidy up. Because we want that string to come back down here. But of course, I have noticed that I've made a mistake there. I wonder if anybody else has picked that up. Let's just grab some of that red paint. <clears throat> There's a gap between the bottom of the balloon and the actual balloon itself. Um, so I'll just need... If we can get that brush, should do it. Grab some red paint. Let's just see if we can just put that back in. Just dabbing it down because what we'll need to do is when that's finished or when it's dry, um, it's just to add in that white for where the string's going to be. So this will probably need a couple of coats because I'm going over black. And it, black doesn't cover that easy. So I'll just do a couple. Doesn't even take long. up a little bit of black on the brush just to kind of tone it all back in again. Went a little bit too much there I think. There we go, just bring that shadow and then we can go over it later. take long to rectify mistakes there we go so get rid of this quick clean up and tidy up and then just to add a little bit of texture in that background I don't want it just completely matte black just grab one of my stencils and I think because of what we've got on the Pennywise the Clown I think we're going to go for one of the We've got the Carnival one, if I can find it quickly. Da, 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 da. There it is. We'll go for Carnival one. And then, I should have left that black paint out. See, this is the problem. You get these ideas, but you want to tidy up. And a little bit of white. And then get the brush. And we'll take a bit of black, a bit of white, actually mostly white. And then I can mix in the black. I want it dark, but I don't want it too white. That should do it, I think. And then have a quick cosmetic sponge. 
pick that paint up and then just in the background up there I can add in a bit of texture which is going to be light enough to show up against the black but not dark enough to stand out too much. See what I mean? So I'll add in a little bit more white, the black, and then I can get it as dark as I want. That should do. Grab the sponge, pick the paint up, and then just repeat that little pattern down there in the bottom. Now if you wanted to, which I'm going to do, is just go over his kind of like shoulder, just to kind of bring that pattern in, and then I can put the stencil back down again, and if there's any left over, I can just add a little bit more. That just adds a little bit of depth, and of course, with the remaining white, I can just add some water to it. If I can find it, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick mix. And then just cover his face. thinking to myself do I need that black anymore I don't think I do I don't think I want to add any more color to that so just quickly finish tidying that up and of course somewhere I need to add in a little bit of a Halloween quote but first of all let me get it all dried off Okay, just to finish off then we need a little bit of a, a, a Halloween-y kind of quote or something to go on here just to finish off. Um, so I'm going to just grab a couple more little bits and pieces from the sticker book, Tim Holtz's Ideology sticker book. And I've gone through and I've pulled out three um, little um, stickers that will work well together. So it doesn't matter that they're not the same kind of colour and stuff really really doesn't matter so what we've got is we've got October the word October we've got the Roman numerals for 31 and then we've got watching and waiting which I think <laughs> works really really well so I'm going to just put that one down there and then up here and there I'm going to add, let's put them like that. And then just because we can, just grab that archive link and then I'm just going to grunge and dirty those up a little bit and then just do the same thing. For that one, I think I'm just going to get that distress marker, the black soot distress marker, and just extend that black there. Just add that box around it, just kind of to make it pop a little bit more. Uh, 
I think that is it. That's it. I'm gonna call that a day. I actually really like what I've done. Um, and it just goes to show, you don't um, have to be an expert to draw something. Um, I don't really know <laughs> how to explain it anymore. Um, it, it's just one of those things. If you trace onto it, you can pretty much, you know, you don't have to be an expert. Anybody can do it. That's what I'm trying to say. Anybody can do it, even an idiot like me. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed my last day on my seven days of Halloween series. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And I haven't put the string in, have I? So let's just quickly wind that round so it looks as though we've got a little bit of string and I can just bring it off the page. Cut that for a last minute adjustment. <laughs> That's it. Bye for now.